Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to section 10.3, Geometric Sequences and Series. Jumping right into things with a geometric sequence for the nth term, we have a sub n, which is our final term, that equals a sub 1, times your r, which is your common ratio, just a little bit different with geometric sequence, and then that is to an exponent. This n minus 1 is an exponent where n is the number of terms. So first things first, for number one, we are asked to find the sixth term of the geometric sequence for which a sub one is negative three, r is negative two. The sixth term, ladies and gentlemen, that is n equals six. So let's go ahead and plug things into our formula. So we have a sub n equals a negative three, and now it's gonna be times negative two to six, minus one, that six minus one is a exponent. Keep going with it, we have a sub one, or a sub n equals negative three times negative two to the fifth. Now we take this, this guy right here, to the fifth power. We have to do our order of operations first, so we do that first to get a negative 32 and then bring down everything else. a sub n equals a negative three times negative 32, and a sub n equals 96. So the sixth term of the geometric sequence for our first term is negative 3 and our ratio is negative 2. Our sixth term is 96. Now we are asked to write an equation, ladies and gentlemen, an equation for the nth term of the geometric sequence. So an equation that looks like this, we will still have an n in there and we will still have an a of n. Well, first thing we have to do is pick out what we have. Our a sub 1, our first term is 5. We do not know how many terms there are, but what is my r? r, how do we find r? Going backwards, we just have to divide. So it's 10 divided by 5. That's going to be 2. So our r is 2. So let's plug things in. We have a sub n equals 5. My r is 2. And then it's just going to be n minus 1. And that's it. We like these problems. Just plug things in. This is still an equation. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot multiply these two together because we have an exponent here. So keep it just like this. Now, three changes just a little bit different. We have the three. We have our fifth term is four, but we do not have. We do not know our a sub one. So when we don't know our a sub one, we have to use this formula to find our a sub one. So let's go ahead and do that. Here, ladies and gentlemen, we have a sub 5 is 4, so the last term is 4. That's going to equal a sub 1 that we do not know. And then we have our r still, which is 3. Then it's this 5, ladies and gentlemen, because the a sub 5 corresponds with this 4. So it's that 5 minus 1. We keep rocking with this. We have 4 equals a sub 1 times 3 to the 4th, we have 4 equals a sub 1 times 81. Now to solve for a sub 1, we divide by 81, so it's 4 over 81 equals a sub 1. And now we have our a sub 1, so we can go ahead and plug it into our formula. So we have a sub n equals 4 over 81 times our ratio of 3 and then n minus 1. Be very careful. Again, we cannot multiply that stuff together. So this is our answer. Next, we have a vocab word, geometric mean, which means the terms between two non-consecutive terms of a geometric sequence. Ladies and gentlemen, it is almost exactly like an arithmetic mean, except now we're multiplying to the next term. So in our question, we are asked to find three geometric means between here and here. So first let me represent what that means. We have 3.12 and then we have one, two, three geometric means and then we end with 49.92. So we do not know how to get to the next term. We do not know our common ratio. So let's go ahead and write down what we do know. We know that our last term is 49.92. Nine, two. We know that our a sub 1 is 3.12, and we also know that our n is 1, 2, 3, 
4, and 5. We're counting up all those terms, so our n is 5. So we can use this to help us find r, our r that we're looking for. So let's plug in everything here, find our r, and then we can find our missing geometric means. So here we go. A sub n is 49.92. That's going to equal 3.12 times the r that we do not know, and then our n is 5 minus 1. Keep rocking. Now I'm going to divide th this by 3.12 to get 16 equals r to the fourth. Now how do I get rid of that fourth? I can fourth root it. So I take the fourth root of both sides, so I get 2 equals r. So now how do I get to each term? I just take each term times 2 times 2 times 2. And when I do that, my terms come out to be 6.24 for the first one, 12.48 for the second one, and then we have 24.96 for that third one. And right there are my three geometric means. Now with a geometric series, that is a lot like an arithmetic series, where a geometric series is the sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. Now, now it is a geometric sequence. So there are three ways to find the sum of a geometric series. First way is to find all the terms and then add them together. Probably not the most fun or efficient way of doing it. Next, we have this guy, where we have the first terms. And in order to use this, we need to know the first term and we need to have our n. And then this one, we need to know the first term, and we also need to know the last term. So here you'd use this if you have the first term and the amount of terms. Here you use this guy if you have the first term and the last term. So let's go ahead and try some of these. With five, we are asked to find the sum of the geometric series. So what do we have with five? We have the a sub 1, and we have an n, so that means we have to use that one. So we start plugging things in. We have s sub n equals 2 minus 2, and then we have 3, and then our n is going to be an 8. That goes over 1 minus r, which is 3. So let's clean some things up right now. We have s sub n, that's going to equal 2 minus 2, times 6,561, that goes all over a negative 2. So now I'm going to subtract this all in one step. I'm going to multiply that times there and subtract it from 2. So now we have s sub n equals negative 13,120, and that's going to all go over negative 2. And so finally, our series grand total is 6,000. 560. Ladies and gentlemen, be very careful with both of those negatives. You divide two negatives, so you come up with a positive. So here is our sum of the geometric series. With 6, now we are given a sub 1 and a sub n, the first and the last term. So we're going to use that guy. So here we go. We have s sub n. That's going to be the first term minus the last term, 4, 8, 6. Now it's only times r. There is no times n or to the exponent of n all over. And then 1 minus r. Cleaning some things up. We have s sub n equals 2 minus. I multiply these guys together to get 1458. That goes over a negative 2. So then I have after I punch this all in my calculator, I just get S sub n equals a positive 728 because you have two negatives which make a positive. Now our favorite thing returns our sigma where we are asked to find the sum of the geometric series. Remember, when we are asked to find the sum of the geometric series, we only need a couple things now that we're talking about geometric series. We only need an A sub 1 and we only need our, our n. So let's see if we can find our a sub 1. When we're talking about our a sub 1, we have to put this 1 in for our n. So it's going to be 3 times 2 to the 1 minus 1. Ladies and gentlemen, be very careful because this turns into 3 times 
2 to the 0. Anything to the 0 power is what? Is just 1 big fat 1. So it's 3 times 1, which is 3. So our a sub 1 is 3. Next, we have our n that we need to find. How do we find our n? We take the top minus the bottom. So we have 12 minus 1. But what else do we have to add? We add 1 because we are taking an extra term out. So this now turns into 12. So now our n is 12. Once we have everything for this guy, let's go ahead and write it down. So we have s sub n equals my a sub 1 is 3 minus 3, and now my r. Well, we didn't find my r, but what was my r? My r can be found using your geometric sequence, right? Well, we have a number times a number. Well, if we look back up here, we have a number times a number, so my r is going to be 2. It's the second number being multiplied. So when I plug it in here, it's just times 2, and then that's going to be to the power of 12, and then that all goes over 1 minus 2. I keep rocking with it. I get 3 minus 3 times 4,096. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you take 2 to the 12th first. That all goes over negative 1. You punch it all into your calculator, and you come up with S sub n equals 12,285 for our sum. Last one. Now we are asked to find a sub 1 in a geometric series. We are given the sum, we are given our n, and we are given our ratio. Now we want to use, I would use this top one, all right, because this one with the a sub n requires us to find a couple more things. So now with this guy right here, I'm going to plug everything in. My final term is, or my sum is, 765, that's going to equal a sub 1 minus a sub 1 because we do not know. Then it's times my r, which is 2, and that's to what power? That's to the power of 8. That all goes over 1 minus 2. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's simplify some things here. I'm going to have it 765, that's going to equal. Now, what can I take out of both of these terms, ladies and gentlemen? Think of it like this. What can I take out here and here? I can take out a a sub 1. That's going to be times then 1 minus and then 2 to the 8th, correct? And then we close that up all over a negative 1. So I just factored out that a sub 1. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. We have 765. That's going to equal a sub 1 times 1 minus 256, and that's all over a negative 1. So let's get this negative 1 out of there, make that negative. So we have a negative 765 equals a sub 1 times a negative 255. And now solving for a sub 1, how do I get that out of there? Or how do I get the negative 255 out of there? I have to divide. So I divide and get a positive 3. So a sub 1 equals 3. So I found my first term of the sequence. Ladies and gentlemen, that does it for section 10.3, geometric sequences and series. Good day.